A U.S. Supreme Court hearing scheduled for tomorrow will be the first of its kind to see a former president and current presidential candidate, Donald Trump, should be kept off the ballot because of his role in the January 6th riot. Thanks for joining us. Welcome to Western Mass News at 10 on this Wednesday. I'm Chris Pisano. Western Mass News reporter Maria Wilson is live for us in studio tonight after speaking with a local expert about what's at stake for the former president, Maria. Well, Chris, while former President Trump leads the polls of the 2024 Republican presidential nominee, the trajectory of his race for the White House could all change tomorrow in a case that is centered around a Civil War era provision of the Constitution. Can people engage in insurrection against the government and then try to become a uh, uh run for office again. The fate of former President Donald Trump's presidential campaign hangs in the balance as the nation's highest court considers his eligibility to appear on Colorado's ballot. More than a month ago, a divided Colorado Supreme Court upheld the decision to remove the former president from their state's presidential preliminary ballot for his role in the January 6th riot at the U.S. Capitol. Trump engaged in insurrection and therefore cannot appear on the ballot. The court, citing Article 3 of the 14th Amendment, also known as the Insurrection Clause. Essentially what, it's trying, what, the, what it was designed to do originally in uh, 1868 was to prevent former Confederate officers who had engaged in insurrection from, uh, that is to say, political and uh, so forth, uh, from being able to uh, basically resume their place in the you know, going back to Congress. But the former president's legal team disagreeing. Frankly, President Trump didn't engage. He didn't carry a pitchfork to the Capitol grounds. He didn't lead a charge. And as we look ahead to the court considering Trump's appeal, we spoke with local history and political science professor Bob Raven Seeger. We should be concerned because uh, this really goes to the heart of uh, us being a, a, a rule of laws and a, a, a constitutional republic. The American International College professor says the court's decision could have major implications. You know, the fact that they took this up meant that they took this very seriously, but this will make it a national thing. And Raven Sager says that we are in uncharted waters. He says a case like this has never happened before, but he says the stakes are high in other states like Maine have also taken similar measures to remove the former president from their ballots. The court's decision would set a precedent for those states as well. Reporting live in studio, Maria Wilson, Western Mass News. Maria, thank you for that live report.